Oh, it's the best perfume ever. Last more than 15 hours. Oh, pretty nice sprayer. And I don't like it, actually. I knew it. Hello. And welcome to our channel. Today we will explore another brand that wanted to be here in our store. Michel Germain. He is local person. Canadian. Pretty famous for you, for most of you guys. For his more mass market line, which is in La Bay or the Bay or mass appeal and perfumes. Yeah, but he's Canadian. Yeah, production in France. Mm -hmm. <laughs> does does it mean something? <laughs> yes. No. You can do this something good in Canada or in any part of the world. So it doesn't matter when when they produce it, for me personally. I don't care. If it's made in France, I, do, I feel like, oh, it's the best perfume ever. No. Mm, maybe like more like nah. French uh, standards, you know. Mm, come on, uh, not all French perfumes are good. Yeah, like, so, oh, they have a card actually. So they send us Discover set and a Discover set and a perfume. So we would like to explore them with you. So it's like two perfumes, right? One is a perfume, one another perfume one is a set. Discovery set. Yeah. So packaging of the perfume pretty nice, um, elegant, simple, but all fragrance, niche fragrance companies like to do. For me, it reminds me a little bit of Chanel. Yeah. Pack uh, packaging. Yes. Yeah. Like packaging and the design label. So. Let's explore them. The first one, it's a full bottle. It's Michel Germain. Michel. Orange Blossom mm -hmm. Garden and French Vanilla. This is a more exclusive line of about $300 Canadian in a price tag for 100 ml. Pretty nice sprayer. What I like, I like the lily. You know, like our Quebecois lily everywhere. Symbol. Seems like it's like have a little bit of honey. Mm -hmm. Nice orange blossom. Orange fragrance. blossom, definitely. With the honey. Style of, I don't know, Jumalon. No, for me it's like much more intense. Orange. Much more intense. For me it's more on the way of the Chanel fragrances, which are much more intense than Jo Malone. Jo Malone is much more airy and soft and fade away pretty fast. Uh, I already asked for some feedbacks about this brand for people who, who know this and they said it's just feedback from other people, not my not my experience with this fragrance yet. They said that this particular fragrance lasts more than 15 hours. Oh, this one? Yes. I think we need to try it. Mm. Yeah, let's let's try to find what, what they say. It's nice, so it's uh, easy going, beautiful. I don't know, it's not something special, but nice. Mass appealing. Mass appealing. Mm, yeah, yeah. For, like with a good quality. Everyone but, likes but what's ma feminine. Mass appealing. So the notes here is violet leaf, mm -hmm. lemon zest, mm -hmm. orange blossom, jasmine, French vanilla, sensual mask, and tonka bean. Yeah. So floral, white flowers, orange blossom. Pretty nice feminine perfume every day, office style. So yeah. I like. I, I cannot say it's uh, unlikable, heavy to wear. No. Pretty it's nice. easy going, easy everyone going. like. Yeah, so. it's more on a mass appealing stage. Other one will be the samples. French lavender and King's Glove. That one should be something masculine? Oh? Yeah, masculine. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. classic after Classi shave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentleman style, like citrusy lavand. Again, it's light. It's light, soft. Citrus, wow. Bergamot, grapefruit, nutmeg, jasmine, cedarwood, lavender, leather. My leather is here, not so much. And okmas. Okmas I can feel. But citrus is. Mm, mm. I, I, f I felt a little bit like spicy in the beginning, but nice fresh fragrance. Mm -hmm. Nice, uh, absolutely nice fresh fragrance. Again, will style it be. Cidra Boise, if you like this style. Kind of. No. no. I don't know what's For me, it's 24 Old Bond Street. Kind of. Only. Kind of. That can be in that style. Yes, old school. Mm, yes, not so bright and vivid like nowadays niche fragrances. Mm -hmm. But maybe it is more everyday. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Nothing like in a, for occasion. It's more kind of everyday fragrance. French Hawk and Sage Imperial. 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 Also masculine? Do you think so? I don't know, I didn't smell it yet. 
my name. Oh yeah. Hmm, something even kind of like vetiver, something smoky, woody there inside, but it's soft. I almost don't feel nothing. Orange with a kind of tobacco. What is this? For me, it's more lacmas. Fig leaf. Hmm. Even my fig leaf, no. Now when I read it, I can feel uh, sage oil, bergamot peel, cedarwood, oak, and sandalwood. When I spray it, I feel it. But after one minute, that's it. Hmm. So clean, so fresh, something airy. For, something for me on the style of a philosophy. Now, <laughs> more and more. Philosophy is much more intense. Even it's, if it's like the toilet, much more intense. Really? There's almost nothing here. I, I can think... feel thick. I can feel. But so, so soft and light. You can see he's not fan of this brand. No, but the first one, okay. <laughs> okay. Second that one, maybe. Good. <laughs> Gold bergamot with vetiver. Yeah. Something. It's bergamot, but it uh, smells like neroli. Mm -hmm. Bitter. Yeah? Bitter. Petit grain on neroli. Mm -hmm. Again, kind of mm -hmm. after shavy style. Like citrusy neroli, like orange style. Royal mystery velvety. Mm -hmm. Bergamot, mandarin, grapefruit, rosemary, cardamom, no, rosemary. lavender. That's why I said like it's, it reminds me again for after shave. Mm -hmm. Vetiver mask, alibanum. Rosemary. I can feel rosemary here. I don't know for whom it's maybe, I don't know, like... I think it's masculine. Yeah. Like, mm, but you know, like, Natalie really like uh, Neroli. Oh. Uh, Neroli. Neroli from uh, BDK Parfum. Mm, no, but that Neroli for me a little bit more feminine because like to be rose Neroli, I don't know. No, for me it's kind of in the same way with, with this fragrance. Something that... Uh, this one more light. I mean like more on the feminine mm -hmm. side. Raspberry Royale and French black pepper. Fruity? Kind of fizzy fruity. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like raspberry bubble, this bubble Ju water. Yes. That one is interesting. Mm -hmm. Luscious, intrigue, dreamy, raspberry, black pepper in the beginning, middle notes, oris, rose essential, patchouli leaves. Mm. <laughs> Lipsticky, do you feel it? Mm -mm. For me, it's lipsticky. Central mask and sandalwood. You know, for me, if lipsticky, that is only can be lipstick that uh, how it calls gl glossy lipstick, like mm. like not the lipstick. Yes. But a, li a lip, this liquid lipstick. I don't know how it calls it. Mm. Like then you apply and you you have a um, your lips like mm. juicy, fruity, and then like shiny lip gloss. Yeah. Oh my god. Kind of like lip gloss. Next, next. French pear and Queen's lilac. Not sure because lilac is like... No, why? I like not, lilac. Not so I like. many people like lilac. Mm, so nice. Like a pure juice. Summer, summer. But sweet. I cannot say it's prominent. Prominent. Prominent? Mm, and I don't like it, actually. I knew it. Sensuous, dewy, luscious. French barlet, barlet, pear, black currant, black currant, yes, mm -hmm. pink peppercorn, lilac, geranium, rose, musk, and modern amber. And you know what does it mean? When when they when they specially create the naming for the notes, when they write down the modern amber, how it's different from classic amber, how it's different from old amber. You know, for me, uh, that one more and more smells like mimosa that I'm looking for. Really? Yeah. Your thoughts? I know, negative. Uh, no, but maybe it's good for someone. I don't know, for me it's nothing special. It's absolutely, it's not cost, like, it's not worth for 300 dollars, come on. It's, I don't know how to describe. I but tried to find... 300 for extra du parfum. It not looks like a stray first. The scents are absolutely common. Nothing special, light. I don't know. Maybe for summertime it will be good. And maybe some person looks like this perfume. So, but here, maybe it's not, it's not place for this brand. I don't know. The people come here and try to find unique perfume, something special. They have this kind of sense from mass market segment and they come and they say like, I wanna maybe same vibe, but 
a little bit different, more intense. Longevity is good. I don't know. I yeah, don't know. and then here's longevity is good. It's pretty common. What do you think? I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes our noses is not on the way to decide if it's sellable or not. We had this experience with many brands when we thought like, wow, it's a different, it's cool. Yes, but uh, sometimes and, it's and no, so different. And, so and no one wants them. Exactly. And no one wants them because they are so different. Exactly. So sometimes cool. it can be over different. Yeah, but sometimes it's something simple and it's selling good. People don't want to smell on an everyday basis like something different. On an everyday basis, you want to smell good, mass appealing. But when you're going out and when you want to grab attention, yes, that in that case you use something more extra, like what we have. But on a daily basis, people more use something more basic, even for, three, for $300. <clears throat> $300 for 100 ml and extended parfum. Another one, simple, pretty simple fragrance with Bianco Latte, which when we smell initially, you said like, mm, nah. No, yes, yeah, yes, yes, it, you, it, it is right now after after seven months. But b before, when we just smell smell this fragrance, you said, "Oh, basic vanilla." You Me, yes, yes, you said it's basic vanilla, and you I know, don't so, and and <laughs> people like me. basic vanilla because they it it drive them compliments. Everyone can understand these fragrances, so maybe it should be balanced, not only like something like Corto Parisi. Which, uh, but some people like say, oh, it's impossible to smell this. Please do not spray with me. Like when I go out from the house, you can spray it. Like you know, maybe that that is a different way. Maybe. What do you think, guys? If yeah. you try, probably you know this brand because it's like Canadian. Like I mean, it's pretty popular for North America. So probably you already tried or heard about this brand. Please share your comments, and we will think about this one because for us it's challenging i don't know what to do <laughs> that's how our debates comes every time with a new brand because mostly i'm on the way to give it a try to anyone to see if it works or not because it's uh, it's unpredictable what people will like and every person feeling about the fragrance is absolutely different my point of view is one is one point of view his point of view his point of view and then we always try to find yeah but nobody knows how it will be on sale this one i mean like in sale yeah maybe it will any be new brand sale. that we come that we take yeah nobody, nobody knows. knows no but it's sometimes always, you can sometimes you can predict like a price by by cents so you can predict this will be good yeah but so, sometimes it's unpredictable thank, thank you for you watching, watching us um like subscribe comment see yeah. you Adieu too. <laughs>